Hello HQTs. Now if you played with us this afternoon, you're already aware we had no winners and you know what that means. That means double the prize for you tonight, so you'd better be in the right zone. Now, Boyzone has just announced that they'll be splitting up after 25 years. Yeah, we thought they were done already too. Don't say goodbye just yet though. The lads will be celebrating their 25th anniversary with one final album and tour. Well, at least we still have Westlife. We don't? Oh, well, on a different beat. I'm Shazza Carpenter. Don't love me for fun, just let me be the one. And this is HQ Trivia, the key to your life. Now, the rules to play are simple. I'm gonna ask a series of questions from easy to hard. You have 10 seconds to tap the answer. You get it correct, you move on, answer all 12 right, and you win or you split that cash. Tonight, we have a grand total of 1,100 pounds up for grabs. That's double the joy. That will get you a bunch of VIP tickets to Boys Own last tour, all their albums and more, but before you give it away, you've got to give it a play. And don't forget, swipe right on the chat if you don't want to see it, if you want to be extra focused, swipe to the right. Okay, Q1, what is the common name for the meteorological occurrence Aurora Borealis, Western Frostbites, Southern Frights, Northern Lights? Definitely on my bucket list to see the Aurora Borealis. It will send shivers down your spine, but that's not the main attraction here. Up on the map and up in the sky is the Northern Lights. That's the other name for it, 169,187. If you're getting lit already here on Q1, the fancy light show appears when electrically charged particles from the sun enter the Earth's atmosphere. Q2, which of these past tenses shares its name with a part of a bicycle wheel, spooled, shoved, spoke? I like to ride my bicycle. I like to ride my bike. If you went for shove, then I'm afraid you'll be shoving off already. No matter what tense you speak in, it's always a spoke. Of course, in the wheel, right? 152,274 of you cycling onwards. The spoked wheel allowed vehicles to be lighter and swifter, at least before the combustion engine came along in the 1850s and everything combusted. All right, it's shout out time, players. Hello to the self proclaimed two hunks in Swansea. Hi to Tiff, Jerry, and Britt from Nottingham. We've got Ben Moxon, Jean Fellers, and Joel Holland all playing. Also, Connor Brown is playing right now, and Olivia West studying for her law exams and a very happy birthday to Mort Clements. Good luck to all of you players. Q3. The song Empire State of Mind was written as a tribute to which city? Sparta, New York, ancient Rome. By one of my favorite artists ever. Sorry guys, but this isn't Sparta. The concrete jungle where dreams are made of is New York City, of course, NY. 147,756 of you taking a massive bite of that apple. The Big Apple was very much already on the map in 2009, but the song was still a huge hit for Jay-Z, Alicia Keys, and Lil Mama in her own mind. Q4, which comedian founded a British charity alongside scriptwriter Richard Curtis, Lenny Henry, Ben Elton, Harry Enfield? Laughing along to change people's lives. It was brilliant. They're all famous for clowning about, but who turned the red nose into a charity symbol? The Prince of Premier Inn is Lenny Henry, the one, the only Lenny Henry. We lost a ton of players right there. We lost 70,000 of you. 77,023 of you are still laughing your way towards that win. Curtis and Henry founded Comic Relief in 85 and have been laughing all the way to help those in need ever since. That was a toughie, Q5. What did the Vatican declare a sinful in the early 1950s, holding hands, bikinis, cigarettes? We're all going to hell then. That's for sure. Selling death sticks is now banned in the Vatican, but smoking them still isn't regarded as a sin deemed far more dangerous for your soul. Bikinis. 
Can you believe that? Bikinis is your winning answer here. 41,894 of you still rocking with us on this brutal question. That was brutal, it was. Now, they weren't the only ones either. Even Miss World competitions rejected bikinis at the time. Q6, at which university is there a tradition of students running naked into the sea at dawn on May Day? St. Andrews, Aberystwyth, Southampton. That means that happened earlier this morning. Three seaside schools, but whose coastline goes full Monty on May Day. Believing nothing brings you good luck, like full body hypothermia. It's St. Andrews, that's the uni we're talking about here. 21,645 of you freezing your way forward. Every year students swap their warm clothes for the freezing North Sea to help them with their exams. Does it help? Who knows? Q7. In which of these movies does Leonardo DiCaprio not play a character called Frank? Catch me if you can. Revolutionary Road. Blood Diamond. Leo DiCaprio, my favorite actor since Titanic. He's played more Franks than he's won Oscars, but which of these contributed to neither? A girl's best friend gone bloody wrong. It's Blood Diamond. Blood Diamond, your winning answer here, 11,895 of your diamonds in the rough still with us. Lost about half of you again here on Q7. It may have been a frank take on the diamond industry, but Leo's character was called Danny Archer in this one. All right, Q8, which of the following is a common name for an East Indonesian archipelago? Is it Silk Islands, Sunset Islands, Spice Islands? I'll take any of those islands right now. Remembering the names of all these islands here would be quite an ask, but what was their collective nickname when 1027 become one? It's the Spice Islands that they become. Getting spicy, 5,102 of you on another brutal question. Crazy how quickly we're losing players. The only source of nutmeg in the 1500s, traders traveled here from across the world to spice up their lives. Q9, which of these romantic poets claim to be a reincarnation of Shakespeare? John Keats, John Clare, Samuel Taylor Coleridge. But there can only be one Shakespeare. It's the kind of thing we'd expect from Kanye West, and not this type of poet. Also claiming to be a prize fighter with two wives, it's John Clare. That's the poet we're looking for. And that was a savage question. Our first real savage question of the game here on Q9. 1,258 of you making beautiful poetry though. Claire spent much of his life battling mental illness issues, but that didn't stop him writing over 800 phenomenal poems. He was a genius. Q10, which of the following is not the name of one of the largest luxury yachts in the world? Quantum Blue, Embryo Legacy 500, Rising Sun. How well do you know your luxury yachts? Three ludicrously luxurious rides, but which is the odd one out? Much happier in the air than in the sea. Embrya Legacy 500 is your winning answer here. 494 of you are really taking off now. The mid-sized private jet is designed to operate short routes. You'll need to win 26.5 thousand games of HQ to buy one of your own. So just a few more games to go. Q11, which of these buildings has the most statues? Milan Cathedral, Seville Cathedral, St. Peter's Basilica. Did you count the statues last time you were there? That could help here. They're all colossal churches, but who has more holy sculptures than scriptures? With a frankly absurd 3,159 statues on the premises, it's Milan Cathedral for the win, 180. Off you got that correct, victorious poses at the ready, because we are moving on to the final round. 180 players left in the game, 100 or 1,100 pounds up for grabs right now. Good luck to all of you players, Q12. Where did iconic athlete Jesse Owens break the world record in the long jump? Michigan, Berlin, Helsinki. Are you gonna break the record right now, players? Fingers crossed. 
He's best remembered for his iconic performance in the 1936 Olympics, but that isn't where he broke the long jump record, breaking four other records and equaling another in the space of just 45 minutes. He did it the year before in Michigan. That's the answer we were looking for. We have 16 winners, my lovelies. <laughs> Congratulations to our 16 winners. Well done. You are taking home 68 pounds and 75p. We've got Stuart Mac 96. We've got Meath looking like a pepperoni pizza right there. TMD Farmer as well. That should put a little smile on your face as a four and a bunch more winners as well. Well done. What are you guys going to do with that cash? Maybe take a trip on a luxury yacht for about three seconds or buy a lifetime supply of nutmeg, depending on how much you like nutmeg. Or get a taste of hell in a bikini. There's a lot you can do with that cash tonight. Wow, what a game, HQTs. What a hurricane of a game. So much fun. I'm Shazza Carpenter. You can find me on the socials, as always, right here. Stop by, say hello, do not be shy. And of course, I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. for another chance for you to get your mitts on that 550 pounds. I'll see you soon, my lovelies. Bye.